Hello everybody, it's me, bb 6 Gaming here today, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial, and this is an updated tutorial on how to basically record the Sims 4 with OBS and how to use it, choose the right settings, and of course some settings um, may be different to you because you have a different PC or a Mac for it, but for me, these settings work well and these are the settings that I use when using OBS. So, I OBS, the standard edition, isn't out anymore from what I can find. It is just OBS Studio. So, to, do, to get this, what you'll need to do, you'll need to go to obsproject.com and then it will come on here. You'll click download. Um, you can do Windows 7 Plus. Then it will download a quick installation thing, which I'm going to cancel because we do not need it anymore. Because I've already got it. And then you just go through the same simple settings on how to set it up. Really, really simple. If you if you're going to be recording The Sims, then you should know how to install a program, so I'm not going to go through that today. But if you want me to, then I will in a further video. This is an update video because the last video I did on this had over a thousand views and it was absolutely amazing, the feedback, and th that was my best video. So I'm really pleased, really thankful for everything you did and all the support that I got on that video, all the likes, um, some of the dislikes, oh well. But then... And all the comments so this is an update video so let's get straight into it so depending on what operating system you are windows 10 like if you're windows 10 like me you can just type or well, no you can't you can click on here the ask me anything or you can click on the start menu and type so you're just going for me it's here but you can type obs and then it should pop up so if you open it up you'll see that you have I have quite a few things here. Don't worry about them. This is for my things that I have. So what you'll do, there'll be nothing here. Or there should be nothing here. Or there might be a scene. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've checked that. But if there isn't, just do right. You just right click on there and click add. Then you can name your scene. So I will do this TUT for tutorial purposes. Like and so there you have a scene. The scenes are really for live streaming or just categorizing the what you are using to record. And you can see here, if I unclick that, you can hear my mic going right now. So I'm just going to mute that. And in the sources menu, you can see in this sources menu here, um, there's nothing there. So if you right click and click add and hover over that, there's a whole lot of things on there. So if I wanted to... to, to if I wanted to capture my display, you would name it, you choose display capture, and then that then chooses on here. But first of all, what we're going to do, you're going to be looking at the settings. So for my, I have, I've left the general as it is. General settings are just the same. You can change the theme to dark if you like it or default, which I just find just leaving it at default because it's easier to see for me. Streaming, um, really simple. This isn't really working, so I'm not going to use this menu here. Output, um, this is where it gets into it a little bit more. So you'll want to put your video bitrate. Mine's a little bit low for me because my video settings are 1920 by 1080. So if I just do 1920 by 1080 there because I don't know why that has changed. It shouldn't have. Let me just click apply. So on the output, that is a little bit low for um, 1080p for me. So I'm going to bump it up to 15,000. So you can see 15 and then three zeros for 15,000 there. That is quite good. The encoder that you're going to use, don't use this, use software x264 that is the one you'll be wanting to use then the audio bitrate 
you'll be wanting to put it to 192 because but if you're like me and you use a separate audio program I use audacity and you can see my mic recording here right now so that's the program that I use and I sync it up later but this is just a recording so you want the audio bit rate to be 192 and then encoder presets high higher less CPU so I've put mine very fast um, I could you could put it to ultra fast and all that but um, I don't think you should I'm I just don't put it at that I just put it to very fast now you can just save where you put it so I've saved mine in my YouTube folder on my hard drive into videos and I save it there because that's just easy to find um, then moving down to here keep that generate file name without space no I've unchecked that so you do high quality medium file size so that's a really good quality and it's a okay size for the video file so it won't be super small so it won't be like less than a gigabyte for it but it won't be like five six gigabytes for some videos if it was like really really high um always choose mp4 don't do anything else because most video editors and youtube uses that so that's one there again software x264 not low cp if you have a um cpu usage preset low cpu usage that increases the file size so just keep it on x264 i haven't done i haven't done anything to do with that and i haven't enabled replay buffer at all for that so all this is saved let's go into the audio i really haven't touched this i haven't touched this from what it is except adding the blue snowball and changing it from the that microphone to the blue snowball um that's all I've changed on here and if you have a separate microphone that's fine um, but if you have a headset microphone then choose the microphone that came with your headset um, otherwise that is fine for that so going on to the video tab you are going to be wanting to select either 9 1280 by 720 if you have a lower end computer if your computer hasn't got a very fast CPU can't doesn't have a good amount a good amount of RAM or anything um, and a good way to check that is if you if you're on Windows 10 right click on here go to control panel system and security and then click on here under system view amount of RAM and processor speed so you click on that then it will show you all your settings and what you have and all the processor and all that. I know what I have because I built the computer, so I know the settings that are right for this computer. Um, so if you have a lower end computer, I recommend doing 720p. Um, but if you have a higher end computer, one that can run it and a good a higher end CPU, then 1920 by 1080 is for you. It's good quality and it's really good. So the base canvas resolution is what it will record in. The output scaled resolution is what when the video so what you're recording it in 1080p when the video is put out and into a file so if I just go into my videos quickly so this so you can see all these videos here the output resolution is the resolution that these will show in. So no matter what this is, the output resolution must be in effect, must be the same as that if you want it to be that resolution. So that's basically it. The downscale fill, um, so if you're doing 1080p, I'd recommend putting that at 1080p. But if you're doing 720p, vice versa. So that would be 720p. The, that, um, I've put that to the highest it will go. Um, because I want it to be the highest setting it will go and then so don't so just put that to the highest setting it will go if you have a good computer but our 
other than that, I would if you don't have such a good computer, I would recommend one of these. But really just test it. Just test it if your computer will work with that. Um, common FPS value, the FPS values, so that's how well and how fast the video runs, how smooth it is. Because if you had a lower FPS, like 10, it would be quite juddery. But if you have 60 FPS um, at a 60 hertz refresh rate monitor, it will run perfectly smoothly and it will look really nice. So I put that to 60, not 59.94. Just put it at 60 and it runs perfectly fine. Now hotkeys I haven't touched because I don't use them. So moving on to that and the advanced I haven't touched because I, I would touch it if I needed to. But unless you know what you're touching, don't touch it. So that is the settings over and done with. So now we're going to be getting on to how to record. So you can see here that it is, if I move this here, you can see that this is recording the screen my entire monitor if i wanted to record a game so if i wanted to record the sims for which this is about what i would do i would open this up and you can see it's got my taskbar and all that at the top so if i minus that minus it and then click yes or you can just click delete so if you right click add game capture Name it to whatever you want, so test capture. Okay, so capture any specific window. Go down to window and then you'll see the game that you want right there. So then you can have a look. So you can leave all this the same. Capture your cursor, which means that you're capturing the cursor that you have, your arrow and all that, so people can see what you're doing. So you can see the difference on the screen. You can see the arrow moving around over her face. And then if I take that off, you can't see it at all. I would I prefer leaving it on so your audience can see what you're pointing at. So you can either leave it like that, where it has borders at the top, or just put holding shift and moving it up. Yes, it sort of distorts it a little bit, but it's very, very minor. So if you're going like that, can you hardly can you see the difference between that? and that yes barely it doesn't matter you can see his face is a little bit longer that's what i've used a lot and it looks perfectly fine in my opinion it works really well and i like it i don't use a studio mode so i don't really i don't really use that and yeah so i just use it as obs used to be so then if I press record, I could start recording and I could also start recording with my mic as well if I wanted to record my audio. So I was doing commentary like a let's play or something or a tutorial in The Sims, then you'd do that. But if you say recording a building video where you're going to fasten it all up, what's the point in doing that? Um, and also what I do, um, which is syncing up audio, I record my audio on here. And I record it on here for the beginning and I just count one, two, three, and then it syncs my and then when I go into editing, it syncs my audio up perfectly. That's what I do. Um so if I just test this with the audio, I'll do start recording, and then I'll click on the new game button here. And it should load. So you can Please now see indeed. this. It he's it is working fine. If I open up the gallery, so this is all loading up, you can go into community and this is working like that. So you've recorded your video now, you go onto there, stop recording, If you, you can exit out of that now, you don't have to exit out of the game but you can just minus that. Go to wherever you saved your recording, if you can't remember go into settings again but I know where I saved it. So you can see this video here, I'll do start recording. And then I'll click on the new game button here and it should load so you can Please now see lead. this it he's it is working fine if I open up the gallery so this is all loading up you can go into community and this is working like that so you've recorded your video now yeah so that is basically how you record it and then 
when you're done you'll be able to open up your editing software so if I open mine up very quickly um, this is what I use Adobe Premiere Pro so then if you just do the new project test um, so that's loaded up and put it into the editing mode and yes this looks a little bit daunting at first but believe me it's easy to get to use and to grips too so you put this in here um, then you can just start editing your video you can trim it so say so you can trim it you can adjust the audio levels on it you can um, scale it and do all other things you want you can add music into the background and it works absolutely fine and there you have your video you can just render it out and it is done so once you're done with that you can just exit out of there exit out of your game that you've done or if you just want to that you're using and if you want to play it anymore then that's fine and that is it it is so simple to be doing to be recording with OBS it is the easiest software to use so if you enjoyed this video if it was helpful remember to like hit that like button it really does help and subscribe for more I do gaming videos and I'm starting to get into the tutorials again so if you guys enjoyed Hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said before, head down to bb6gaming.co.uk if you want to suggest a video. Go to bb6gaming.co.uk forward slash request dash a dash video. Probably be changing it soon to request a video, but just use that. And also links in the description down below to my website and to my previous tutorial on this. And yeah, so I'll see you again soon and have an awesome day. See you guys. Bye.